Hey there, Tech Gives Back. My name is Nicole with Concrete Jungle. If you're not familiar with us, Concrete Jungle transforms overlooked and underutilized fruit trees and land into a healthy food source for our communities in need. One of the ways that we do this is through our farm down in Southwest Atlanta. And I wanna give a huge shout out to the Tech Gives Back volunteers who came out recently to help give a little love to our farm and expand its capacity to grow. Uh, it's only an acre big piece of land, but because of amazing volunteers like you, we're able to produce over 5,000 pounds of produce every year that goes straight to our food pantry and soup kitchen partners. And so the work that you did when you were out here helped us to expand where we can grow. So next year we'll have some beautiful muscadines to donate to our partners as well. So thank you. I know there's some of y'all in the Tech Gives Back community who maybe wanted to come out this season or who don't live near us uh, and are wanting to contribute to the cause of ur urban agriculture and all the work that organizations like Concrete Jungle are doing. I wanted to give you a couple of quick tips about ways that you can do that, specifically one called guerrilla gardening. And a specific tool of guerrilla gardening is seed bomb. So guerrilla gardening basically means planting where you don't necessarily own the land and where you maybe weren't asked to. Uh, and seed bombs are an ancient practice, but was rediscovered by the guerrilla gardening movement back in the 1930s. And it's still used today to help revegetate uh, land and areas that have been affected by uh, wildfires. So it's a way to reintroduce a little beauty uh, and maybe some functional vegetation into communities that maybe don't have readily access, ready access to it. Um, this is really great in terms of urbanization because part of what Concrete Jungle is doing with our mission is addressing the negative impacts of urbanization, whether it's racial and economic disparities in terms of who gets to live in what parts of the cities that have the nicer parks or access to farmers markets and community gardens, or the environmental impacts of, envi of urbanization. And that can look like how our plant and wildlife are affected by uh, our cities. So just wanted to give you a quick tip about how to make seed bombs. They're super easy and super fun for anyone ages five to 95. All you need is a couple different types of earth some seeds and a little water to bind it all. And uh, it's really a, more of an art than the science that farming usually is. So I actually just have a couple of different types of soil from this last gardening season that I had left over here uh, on my porch and some leftover seeds and a little bit of water to bind it all together. So I just put my seeds right in the middle and patted it all together. Now, oh, I heard it land. <laughs> it actually landed by the creek right outside my uh, building. So in a couple of weeks, I'll see if there's uh, some little green things sprouting over there. Um, but you can play around with it. Wild flowers and non-edible vegetation do really well with seed bombing. Uh, but you can also experiment with some uh, vegetation that is edible and see how it comes out. You can do a little research about what plants are growing right now in your area. Uh, other things that you can do that uh, may be a little less gorilla gardening, uh, whether it's gorilla planting uh, new fruit trees. You can uh, do fruit trees in your own yard or reach out to your local community centers or schools and see if they're interested in planting fruit trees so that there's more fruit available for the community. Uh, or plant your own garden. It's super easy and you can start with little containers just like this. You don't need a whole plot of land. Uh, and every plant contributes to the beautification and the health of our urban spaces. Uh, I hope that that inspires you to uh, break out your green thumbs a little bit, even if you can't get down to our farm. But we do hope to see some of you down there. If you want to learn more about Concrete Jungle, you can go to our website, concrete-jungle.org, to learn how to volunteer or keep up with what we're doing. Thank you so much again, Tech Gives Back.